Can we explain soil bearing capacity in under 5 minutes? Let's find out. Bearing capacity is the maximum pressure soil can support without failure. Geotechnical engineers use their understanding of bearing capacity to design systems to safely transfer the loading from structures to underlying soils. The loading produces compressive and shear forces in the soils. If the loads are large enough the shear forces induced in the soil will become higher than the shear strength in the soil. Resulting in failure. There are three types of bearing capacity failures that can occur. One type of failure is punching shear. This generally happens in loose sands, thin layers of strong soil underlaid by weak soils and in weak clays which are loaded slowly. Failure develops gradually in this setting, due to the high compressibility of these soils. Little to no soil disturbance is seen at the surface when punching shear occurs but structures experience high levels of settlement. Local shear failure occurs in cohesionless and loose to medium dense soils, this failure mode has a well-defined shear surface directly under the footing, which may or may not be seen at the surface. Local shear failure happens gradually, as the footing continues to experience settlement and movement along the shear plane. General shear failure occurs in dense cohesionless soils and undrained cohesive soils. General shear failure is characterized by a well-defined shear plane with clear disturbances in the surface soils. This type of failure occurs suddenly and can cause significant rotation of the structure. So let's look at how Civil's AI can help us to predict foundation bearing capacity. In the first section, we can control our foundation size and applied loading transferred to the foundation. We can select foundation shape, the size of the foundation, the depth to the base of the foundation and the magnitude of the loading applied. There are also advanced features, for users with more experience of the software. Beneath this soil properties can be adjusted. Here you can adjust the soil layer name. Control whether the soil behavior is drained or undrained. The thickness of the layer and soil properties can also be fine-tuned here. Soil layers can be added or removed with the buttons at the bottom. After you've input your parameters, you can hit Analyze, or the Enter key, to generate results. Our results will show whether this section passes our checks. If the section passes our checks the design resistance exceeds the design load. The results also show the degree of utilization, where 100% represents the design resistance is equal to the design load and the section is failing. We can quickly adjust properties throughout the calculation, to understand the nature of the model. Next up, let's look at how the calculation actually works. Using the Terzaghi equation for bearing capacity, we consider a foundation with a base of a depth D below the ground level and a width B. A load intensity QF is applied to the soil at the base of the foundation, along with any additional overburden. This calculation only considers the general shear failure case, which is divided into three zones. The punching shear zone is located directly below the foundation. The radial shear zone is located from the edges of the foundation outwards. The linear shear zone is located outside the bounds of the radial shear zone. The Terzaghi bearing capacity equation is then used to calculate the overall bearing capacity resistance. This equation considers the cohesion of the soil, the surcharge and the foundation self-weight. Empirical bearing capacity factors N and shape factors S are then applied to each of these calculation elements. Shape factors can be taken from Eurocode 7 depending on the foundation shape and dimensions. Bearing capacity factors are calculated using the following equations which are related to the friction angle of the soil and are applied to the cohesion, surcharge and self-weight elements of the calculation. Bearing capacity factors can be calculated individually or calculated using tables. After using the Civil's A at bearing capacity analysis, results of the Terzaghi equations are presented for each soil layer beneath the foundation base. Advanced properties are also calculated, which will be covered in a future video. The worst case load and resistance for all soil layers is then used to calculate the final result and utilization. Check out www.civils.ai for more information.